welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called British Ordnance Survey. A long time ago, in the 1700s, a special group called the British Ordnance Survey started. They did something very important. They helped make the maps of Great Britain and other places better. They did this from when they first began until now, using new technology. On this day, 30th of August, 1791, the Ordnance Survey began. This was a big moment in the history of mapping. They wanted to make good maps, especially for the military. The main thing they wanted to do was to make detailed maps of the coasts of Britain. These maps would show where an enemy might try to come into the country. This was a big task because they wanted to show places that no one had shown before. At first, it was not easy for the Ordnance Survey. They had problems like not having enough things they needed and the challenge of mapping huge and difficult to reach lands. But they made the first one inch to one mile map. This was a new way of making maps and let everyone see places they couldn't visit. In the 1800s, the Ordnance Survey started to use new things like special tools and cameras from the sky. These tools helped make maps even better and showed more details. These maps were useful not only for the military, but also for making cities and looking after land better. They even helped when there were big problems like disasters. The work of the British Ordnance Survey was so good that other countries wanted to do the same thing. The way they worked and how careful they were became a model for others. They didn't just stop at their own land though. As the British Empire grew, so did their work. They helped map new places, even faraway lands. In the modern times we live in, the Ordnance Survey has moved to using computers and new technology. 
they make maps that are not only very accurate, but also easy for everyone to use. These maps are not just pictures on paper, but you can interact with them. This helps people, businesses, and even leaders make better decisions using the maps. The Ordnance Survey has changed how we understand spaces. It's not just a tool, it's like a magic window to know more about the world. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms and let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.